diamonds. I like stunning. I like shining. I All right, so I already have my base done, which is my eyebrows and my concealer. To begin, I will be taking that Berry Ice Lemonade Craze Palette and basically putting this all into my crease. Like that, it's a really nice pretty pink shade, it's so cute. Now I will be taking Sweet Tea also from the Lemonade Craze Palette and ba basically putting this on my outer corner and blending it into the crease as well. So now I will be mixing sweet tea with coral punch, also from the Maybelline Craze palette, just so that that brown shade can be like a slightly more pink and not such of a cool tone, if that makes any sense. Now I will be moving over to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and I will be mixing three shades, Velger, Venetian Red, and I'll be applying this in my outer corner first and I will be blending this out but I want to make sure I concentrate that enough in my outer corner first. Now I will just be taking my concealer and cutting up this crease girl. So now I will be taking my glitter and applying that to the crease. Alright, so now for the face. I just want to let you guys know it's really important to moisturize. Now I'm going to begin with foundation. So first I apply the foundation to my hand. And then I just dot it on my face because like this I get a more even application. So now I'm going to blend that out with my microfiber sponge that is super dirty. I haven't washed it, I know. But I'm going to just blend that out completely. Making sure I get my neck and my ears because you need to be like completely blended out, honey. So now I'm going to move on to concealers. And now I'm going to move on to setting my face and the key to no flashback is basically how you set your face. Baking is what gives people flashback. Honestly, like I don't know what powder you using. Maybe Laura Mercier, like I, after a while I got in like I got in the right way with Laura Mercier and I knew how to bake my face without getting um flashback. But honestly, to per like to a hundred percent no flashback, just set your face like regular. People love baking their face and they be looking like a whole powdered donut and they be looking like a ghost in pictures and I just I can't that can't be me. I really can't. So what I do is I basically use my airspun powder but I use it with a sponge but only like right underneath my eyes so like the closest to the lash line because I need it like really set there super duper set because you know like when I have mascara on sometimes it's hot or whatever and my makeup likes to it doesn't like it doesn't like to leak but you know sometimes it does if I don't set correctly so that was only for the under eye area and I'm not baking, you see? I just tapped it. I make sure I tap off the excess powder. You see, I take the powder and I squeeze it out. Even blow on it. I just go under my eyes. Now that I've done that with my beauty blender, I'm going to take this ES03 brush from Juno & Co. Listen, did you see like how my foundation looked? Like, you about to see how this set looks right now. Like, that's why you need to enter my giveaway. I'm gonna have everything down below because like these brushes from Juno and Co. and uh and the sponge, I'm telling you, like they're popping. So if you want something for free, because I'm giving it away, it's called a giveaway for a reason. Uh, 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 please make sure to join my giveaway. I'll leave everything 
down below for that. But anyways, um, <laughs> now I take this E03, no, ES03 brush to um, basically set the rest of my face. I want to make sure I set the rest of my face as well, but not with like a baking powder or a loose powder. Well, I do use loose powder, but not translucent. I like to use one that's like a color, like an actual tone of color, like at least close to my color because this just like helps set everything and stays in place. And to do that, I use this Avon powder. Um, it's called Flawless Loose Powder. This is in the color medium deep. So I just use this to set the rest of my face. If you're going to do something like this, um, you can also use like um, a press powder. They work e like equally as well. But a good technique is to first um, pat it on your face, if that makes sense. Like just tap it like this tap it first and then after you covered most of it like most of your face you can start like buffing it in and the reason you do that is because if you just start by brushing in right away your face is still not set you're setting it now so when you start brushing and brushing and brushing you're gonna start lifting up the foundation and moving it around and if you want a nice flawless face you don't want your foundation to be all streaky i got you with the tips huh? after i done put all this powder on my face what should i do should i continue trick question you're not supposed to continue so a good technique like this is i don't know who else does this but i started doing this and as soon as i started doing this my face has looked so much glowier and it just looks better my face is like flawless let me tell you so after you set your face, you're gonna add, keep on adding more powder. You're gonna have to do your contour, your highlight, maybe blush, who knows. But before you do all of that, you want to set this first. You just set your face and you wanna set it with some water, you know, not water, but some setting spray. You wanna set this with some setting spray because this is still like really casty and powdery and to move on to the next step you want to be like completely 100% set this is like 95% set taking my setting spray I'm going to set this and this also really helps with the um, flashback because it like you know when you set your face it picks up like the powder you know so it doesn't really leave your face that casty looking and if you do this twice, I'm going to set again after. So just the fact that I'm doing it, setting my face twice, is really going to make sure I don't have no type of flashback. All right, ladies. So now we're going to move on to the next super important step, which is contouring. Now, you know you want to be nice and fleeky for your pictures, but if you don't know how to contour, you're going to either have like a super dark, you know, thing on your face or you're not going to have nothing at all. You're just going to look like a potato. So you first want to start with like a transition color, which is more of like a bronzy color. It's not like a real contour, nothing to really carve anything out yet. So that is what I start with. I use this palette here that I got in my beauty supply. It's super cheap, nothing serious. It's not even name brand or anything. So I just use this color right here. It's kind of warm, but I like it because I'm like a warm girl. So. I just use this and I first do it pretty big because I'm not really contouring yet. I'm just creating the shadows. Now to actually contour, you want to make sure you're contouring in the right area. So what I do boo -boo, is I actually make this face and I just move it over to the side or put it up a little bit so I can see this. Mm, make sure you buff this out you don't want it to be really harsh this is just like the transition color so you want it to be very blended and smooth I also do my forehead 
and I'm making sure this is like really you know nice and buffed out so this is basically what I look like now that I've like bronzed up you know that is not exactly what I do to contour that's just like the bronzing part now to actually contour so to get it really sharp and a lot of people ask me how I do it basically I just take my my sponge for this again I make the face and I go all the way to the back when I do this I also take some more powder but make sure I barely have any and just put it in this area right here to make sure that this area stays very bright for my contour this is what I use this is the wet n wild mega glow contouring palette and this is in the color dulce de leche it says it right down here this is what it looks like so I basically just take the darker shade of course and I do the same face as always and I just apply it to like the very bottom of it because we don't want this we want this to be pretty sharp because that's actually where the, the shadow is is at you know where the shadow hits so it's like we don't want this all over the place because that's just gonna make us look really muddy and it's like you don't have a definite highlight you wouldn't have a definite contour when you do that you just go like this I start blending this out from the bottom first and then I keep on going up 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 and then I blend that you want it you know blend that all together so now I'm going to just spread my face with some of this this right here it looks like the setting spray from Urban Decay but it's not it's actually a Tarte Radiant glow spray I don't know but the spray bottle broke and anyways I just put it in here so I'm gonna spritz my face with that because this is like a little bit dewy so it's going to help catch more powder if the setting spray didn't catch before this will catch it now and that's also it's gonna help eliminate all of the you know the, the, the flashback I didn't know what I was gonna say but um it's gonna eliminate the flashback and also since it's like a little bit dewy it's gonna give us that nice beautiful glow and then after we set our face with this we're going to actually highlight so this as well it helps our highlight you know pop a little bit more so as you can see my face looks you know real nice and shiny whatever so I'm going to do <laughs> so what I'm gonna do actually is um I'm going to take another beauty blender that has like barely any product I mean it's dirty a bit but don't mind it I'm gonna just take that and this is going to help that um setting all that spray you know just adhere more to my skin and really you know like get that really glowy look from within that glow from within look so now I'm going to just highlight my face so that is all for this tutorial loves these are images of me with flash photography please make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel see you all in the next one enjoy